guys, welcome to another vlog. We've had a big day. Wifey has finished sorting out all the jumpers. If you remember, the house was a bomb site. Not as much of a bomb site anymore. Um, and if you haven't already, guys, jump on the store. We have these um, stickers. They are freaking sick. Um, the new ones that we just got in, they've just gone up on the site. So make sure to grab yourself one. Today, we are would say not accomplishing a dream, but I've wanted a camper trailer for as long as I can remember. Um, and I've been saving up money, putting money aside. And now with a Cape trip coming up in a month and a half-ish, um, I've found one and I'm gonna pull the trigger. So we're gonna go out there today with the whole fam bam and uh, go and pick up our new camper trailer, which I'm very, very excited about. It was, it's like brand new, it comes with a bunch of accessories. It's literally exactly what I wanted. Um, and to be able to get it after all this time and saving and everything else, you know, we've made it. So yeah, I didn't want to do a bunch of work to the Raptor for the Cape. I'd rather have a trailer, which I can just hook on rather than set up my car and make my car less capable, if that makes sense. So yeah, let's head out there and, uh, Pick up our new camper trailer. Excited? What? To get a camper trailer? Yes. 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 Yeah, but Daddy. <laughs> yeah. Um, are we gonna keep it? Yeah, of course we're gonna keep it. Yay. Yay. Why do we have to are you excited? <laughs> you don't know anything about camper trailers. No idea. They're comfortable, and we'll be able to go camping as a family, and Daddy? you won't be mad because it's not a tent. In my thongs. <laughs> Last time one of the kids did that, they broke my shoes. That was in Bali. Hmm. Not that easy to find replacement thongs over there. Yeah. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> I'm jealous as fuck. Alright, so I haven't showed the vlog yet. I haven't showed the vlog at all yet. But I am pretty pretty bloody excited. So I see my toe toe thing is like a dropped one. Yeah, you know. So have I to need the it. normal one. Just yeah. Flip it. Yeah. Oh I could flip it. No, you just need a straight out one will be better. Alright guys, so without further ado. Princey hates me already. My new Black Series. Your new Black Series? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here we go guys. So, I've got a Black Series Ford Fold Camper. Extremely excited about it. It is freaking amazing. Um, it's all like it has an oven, a uh, stove and everything. Let's go through it, Princey. Help, help people. Oh. <laughs> it's just gonna, get it's just gonna make you worse. <laughs> You're yeah. so upset. <laughs> go on, pull it out. The kitchen. So we've got a full kitchenette with a light and everything for when, so for when you're cooking. It has a clothesline. Yeah, and it has a clothesline. Um, so you've got all your uh, kitchen utensil stuff, storage, and then uh, other stuff under there. Super rad. So yeah, another slide out table for, to use for the prep or anything else. Um, 
What else we got? T, you want to open up those front ones? These? Yeah, that'll be storage in that one. Jen's behind him with a finger up. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to say you guys work really hard for this. Yeah, so, so there's their little bitty. <laughs> no. Yours is sick, bud. It works yeah, sick. Yeah, it works. Yeah, so for, just for go us... going to one of these up. Yeah, for us personally, with what me and Tiana want to do, because we want to be able to quick set up, pack down, set up, pack down while we're travelling on the road, this style of camper is amazing. So comes with a humongous jewel fridge. <laughs> So we are absolutely pumped. Uh, what have we got? Storage in here. We've got massive That's a fridge. amount of storage in here and other storage things in there. We've got a massive dual zone um, fridge. I think it comes out further. I can't remember. So massive dual zone fridge, which has like extra things. So you can either have freezer or fridge. It's up to you, which is rad. Like obviously. I'm not going to fit any drinks in there. Huh? We had to we'll have take we'll take both fridges. You're yeah, gonna need to and an esky. Um, <laughs> but this we can we can get an app for this and we can actually control this from an app. That's um, the same as and then it's also got um, outlets here, so it's got an outlet there, and then it's got USB points as well for when you're hanging out outside of the trailer, which is super duper rad. It rained on the way back here, as you guys saw on the. Uh, video um it's got storage up on top of here um but then it also has like brackets and this but basically this top piece folds over and you have a clothesline off of it which is pretty rad two spare wheels and tires or alloys it's got a water pump in here which has been upgraded so an upgraded water pump from the same company that done the um see that upgraded he didn't like the other one it was uh didn't pump enough, yeah. so he's upgraded. So um, it's got all independent suspension. Uh, what's in here? I don't know. Oh, that's all my power stuff. So I've got all stuff like that. Uh, what else we got? Another storage is this. So heaps more storage with another slide out. So super good for storage, this trailer. And then what do we got on this side? So another massive uh, slide out storage area. I think you can put like a second fridge in there. Probably. Yeah, if you wanted to. Fire extinguisher. Yeah. Event, yeah. And then uh, space at the front for jerry cans for extra fuel or for extra water. It also carries, I think, 100 litres of water in the front, uh, in the back, in a tank under the back. Um, it's got a full on off road hitch. So you can fully off-road with the uh, the hitch it's got and then it came with all these extras in the back it's got a hot water shower solar panels this has like extra tents for when you open it up you can turn it into like a massive annex area with ensuite you can put a shower tent up and a whole bunch of stuff so yeah we came past just to see see the fan to show me the trailer I'll show you the trailer well <laughs> It's it's fam. it's it's on the way back and see the fam. Yeah. Um, but yeah, when we get back home, I'm gonna set it up and uh, show you guys around it a bit more. But very pumped. It didn't push the back of the down back of the Raptor down as much as I thought it would, which makes me very happy. However, the whole front of the trailer is storage, so I know that it is gonna weigh down on the rear end. So I'm gonna have to consider getting a heavy heavier spring for the cape. So. I have to look into it a bit more with the Raptor, but depending on how much it costs to swap springs out, like when I do have a big trip like the Cape, I may put in like 500 kilo springs into the back of the Raptor to help with the height. Um, yeah, overall, I'm extremely happy, guys. It is sitting, if you're looking the way it's sitting really far forward, it's because I have a drop hitch um, designed for when I tow car trailers, obviously. Normally, I would have a hitch that comes straight out, which would lift the trailer up and it would sit level and therefore have less weight on the car. But with that said, once the front is full of stuff, there's definitely going to be a hell of a lot more weight on the tow bar. Um, so I'll, I'll have to work it all out. There is a bunch of storage inside as well. But when this thing opens up, guys, it's got a queen size bed for the adults and a double bed for the other end of the camper where the kids will stay. So. 
yeah, again, extremely happy. Mud tires all around. So it's got alloy wheels and mud tires. It's just amazing trailer under the back. It's got recovery points, second uh, hitch again for recoveries, and your water filling, um, crazy, crazy suspension under here. Huge, massive box section suspension, which is ridiculous. That one's for your tie, uh, for the bike rack. Ah, oh, and I want to put a bike rack on too, yeah, so. so. That's for your bike rack. Ah, oh, perfect. And you okay. just run an extension off of that so it comes up flush with the back, and then you've got to get your little gay. Oh, like another plate. plate. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, I've right. got this one, but I'm pretty sure the things don't fit, that's why I got a second one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can get one piece ones, can't you, that that is part of the hitch? I couldn't find anything, but I was looking like I needed one. Yeah. So I was like, just get one. Yeah, okay, cool. So I'm going to look into that more, because I'd rather not have that extra nut and bolt there, because he was saying that's one thing to watch when you're on bigger trips, mm. is because it does move around, it will undo that nut. So we'll see anyway, there's lots to learn, but couldn't be happier with our purchase. Guys, it's the next day now, and uh, I ended up setting it up last night, as you just saw from that, uh, what do you call it, time lapse. But it took no more than five minutes. I used the rattle gun to rattle the legs down, and then to put the top up was literally a minute or so to get this thing like set up. It's absolutely insane how quickly this sets up, and that's the reason I bought one like this. Is so you know pull over on the side of the road or wherever you're going and literally sets up super fast and i'll show you guys inside the camper now i'm gonna go turn some of the lights and stuff on open this all up and we'll go take a look pumped all right guys so as we hop in we have lights we have lights all down here in the floor and there we go got a huge well, not huge, but it's queen size. Um, I'm fully standing up in here, which is exciting. So I'm fully stood up. I've still got plenty of room above me. There's a zip. So the parents can have a room to themselves away from the kiddos. Um, one of the really cool things is this is like an eating area. Um, there's actually a table under here. So there's a table right there. And this piece comes up and turns into a table so this is like a you know if you need to this is an eating area which is super rad um it's all storage under all here um there's a drawer here i don't know what you would put necessarily in this drawer but there is a drawer there there's usbs and 12 volt outlets um all these windows obviously open up um so you can uh see outside or, or have more air through the camper if you want to there is extra poles so you can open them um, again to let air through on those warm nights it's um it's so rad it's really really comfortable i was really tempted just because i've only just got it to try and sleep in it last night but um yeah i just didn't have any blankets or anything chucked on it yet but uh 
super excited by this guys um hope you're excited to see some more four wheel driving videos coming up in the near future um i know that the four wheel drive videos went well they always go good in australia so they sort of are are a thing here in australia so man i'm pumped um also this whole side opens up as well so that can be unzipped there and this whole thing rolls up into there so you can have the whole side open while you're like eating food and stuff so very very cool as well um there's also a whole bunch of um a huge tent that goes off the side uh i'm not really ever going to set that up i don't think unless i go somewhere and i'm staying in one spot for like a length of time um but i've been given all the stuff with it uh solar panel i have the solar panel out now um it charges super well uh, i was on 12.9 or something the batteries i literally set it up before i took scarlet school which is like a 15 minute return walk and batteries are already up at 14.1 amps so very very excited about that um i don't know what else to tell you guys i definitely need to look a little bit more into the uh situation with the raptor as far as the weight because it'll be interesting to see what the weight is like on this thing once it's loaded um that's one thing i'm genuinely concerned about because it's just pushing the back of the raptor down more than i hoped and that's with pretty much nothing in the front of the trailer no gas bottles on there no extra diesel um you know nothing in the fridge or any of that sort of stuff i obviously will try and offset it by weight at the back of the, the trailer but the axle on these sits pretty far to the back i think it's i feel like it's a bit of a design flaw but at the same time, like it, it'd be so hard for them to move the axle forward uh, due to getting in and out of the trailer and all that sort of stuff. So I don't know, it's one of those things that, uh, you know, I'll just have to work it out, get used to. I think they, I think when you load it up, you have about 300 Ks, uh, kilograms on the tow ball, which is not that bad in a leaf sprung car. Um, but in the Raptor, it's soft, it's designed for jumping and stuff like that. Um, it does push the back of the car down quite a bit. So I do, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it all loaded up. I got a trip in like two weeks time. I'm gonna load it up as if I was going to the Cape um, and see how it all sits and then work out what I'm, my plan of attack is from there. It may be a situation where just the Cape, cause it is such a big, big trip. Um, I may uh, just, see if i can get some heavier springs put in and then when i get from that back from the cape pull them out um oh, i don't even know if it would be an option to try and find a crashed raptor with try and get the rear suspension out of it and fit that rear suspension up with big springs and that way i'm just pulling out a, sh a spring and shock it'll be like four bolts to change the suspension over um to go camping with the camper trailer sort of thing so that would be like big brain that would be awesome but uh i have to look into it you know people i guess the suspension in the raptor is one of its biggest selling points and that's why it's worth good money but at the same time it's not like you can use that rear suspension in a normal ranger or anything so it might be something i'll be able to pick up somewhat cheap so i'll keep my eye out and uh anyway i gotta uh load up bossy and take him to school i hope you enjoyed this episode guys uh if you can't tell i am extremely happy about this i'm probably happier about this than most car purchases so um yeah i don't know man i'm excited to uh get some family trips going that's what life's about man i, I remember going camping as a kid and, and you remember it those these are life experiences and i want to do that for my kids so yeah anyway thanks for watching guys peace out absolutely stay positive and i'll see you guys in tomorrow's vlog bye